medication assisted treatment. I'll be I'll stick around and answer your questions. And Dennis, do you want to ask questions? Thank you, Judge Edwards. Thank you very much for for sharing all of that those best practices and ideas. Um, there are some questions. I just want to let uh, uh, just two announcements real quick. Uh, the first is there is an evaluation that uh, has been the link has been put in the chat. So please. I want you to speak up, Gibran. Oh, so I just said that there's an evaluation link in the chat that people can uh, click on and evaluate uh, the presentation. Um, additionally, I have uh, an announcement at the Social Wellness Committee, real quick, that says, uh, which is thanking everyone for filling out the wellness survey. And anybody who's not filled it out yet, please do so. There will be some exciting announcements coming soon. Dennis is listening. That's cool. Well, no, no, we're, we're having uh, hearing problems here. I'm hard of hearing, and you're you have a soft voice. Can can you print it up? Somebody said that. Uh, somebody uh, said in a chat that county council doesn't want you talking to the social worker claiming uh, attorney client privilege uh, that to me is uh, it doesn't make any sense at all this these are too important to hide facts um is 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 that hindering cross examination in your courtrooms yes it's countywide in los angeles about 25 years ago county council started directing los angeles social workers not to speak to us whether there's a contested issue or not. And they tell them, they tell the courts, uh, there are clients. Has that been and tested? Have the judges supported that either in the trial courts or uh, in the appellate courts? The appellate courts have never ruled on any case I appealed. I haven't read any opinion. The trial, at the trial level, they usually skirt the issue. Some, but often they won't let me ask a question based on a privilege objection. Um, well, I think you better you better um, not leave that one un, unattacked because I know of no other county where this takes place. And certainly in my county, we used to have, um, well, of course, we used to have uh, settlement conferences and they'd all be in there and everybody would talk. And there were no pri privileges never been raised in my county, but it, it goes more than that. We had a mediation program that I started back in the uh, in the 90s, maybe it was the late 80s. And mediation resolved most of the cases. Now, I understand you had a great mediation program and I still work with Hugh McIsaac. Some of you may remember him and I loved your mediators and. Now they're trying to start a new mediation program. And I know Tony Trenacosta has got a little bit going, but you need a rigorous mediation program. We settle. We have statistics that go back 20 years. 80% of the cases that went in settled 100%. 20% of the cases settled uh, most of the issues and 10% did not settle. If, where is mediation in Los Angeles? They they uh, canceled it. We have a non, we have a new mediation uh, process that operates uh, much more like a uh, uh, conflict resolution mediation. And may I clarify one thing? We're allowed to cross-examine social workers during trials, but it's, uh, my personal experience is that county council regularly object to questions and say privilege, privilege, privilege. Well, and it's part of a bigger problem, I feel, in Los Angeles County, where the judges, as you touched on, they feel they are doing a disservice to DCFS if they say lack of reasonable services. And I've heard multiple bench officers link that finding to the fact that they would lose funding on the record. They've said that. Lose I don't funding? like what to funding? make a lot. What, what fund are you talking about? If they make a no reasonable efforts finding, is that what no, you're they talking say, about? They they say they don't want to make a lack of reasonable efforts finding because so DCFS will lose funding. That's right. And, That's and, right. And well, they I know, but and, it but seems you heard what I said you can use it strategically. The art of the no reasonable efforts finding. The judge says, "I'm thinking about it." 
I mean, judges are not wimps. They can say, I'm thinking about it because this is not right. And by the way, when they claim privilege, I would write, stop the proceedings and say, judge, would you ask the same question to the social worker, please? And then I think that's an appellate issue. Don't lay down on that one. This privilege business has got to stop because if you can't have an intelligent, rigorous cross-examination of the social workers, you are not going to find the truth of what's going on. And I thought court proceedings were to find the truth. So, so I, I, I'm not criticizing you because what you're doing, you're saying that, and by the way, I have heard this in every state. This is the kind of conversation I have with t attorneys in every state. They say, oh, the judge doesn't want to do it. You heard all those answers that I gave on, uh, on my presentation. They go, oh, I don't know about services. It's not my job. They're the experts, all this stuff. And you need to remind the judges that this is their job. That, and frankly, you have a number of appellate decisions in Los Angeles that reverse trial court decisions on that issue. So some judges are, uh, they need to get the lesson. Do you have a list? Do you have a, a, a list of all the uh, reasonable efforts appellate cases in, in California? Why, Dennis is yes, nodding, you haven't. And Amanda H. and Taylor J. were attorneys from Ladle, from even my law firm. And I, I don't believe I've seen, uh, uh, but on average, one or two reasonable services findings per courtroom over the last three years. And so if, if do, you, do you know those numbers, Judge Edwards? Because I don't feel we can get anything done in this county because I'm being told that only like 0.05% of cases had a lack of reasonable services, but somehow half of cases just explode the timeline because of problems with services. And we make the arguments in trial, we appeal. I was listening to your training of the judges and I, I don't know if it was your uh, impression, but it seemed like the judges didn't understand that in the other counties, the social workers come to the courtroom, that in the other counties, we're allowed to talk to the social workers. And I almost think Los Angeles is so insular that uh, 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 somehow somebody from the outside has to make some change happen. Well, Ed, pardon me for using your first name, but um, that makes me very sad. I've heard this before, but now I'm getting down to it again. And this is an issue which I think you need to you need to talk about it, and you need to find a good case. And there, I remember a, a, a Los Angeles appellate attorney that I used to know. Um, he said, "I I review cases and I find a good one." Um, and your attorney should know what a good case is. It's got some some good facts in it, and then do all that you've been talking about. To get um, get the social worker to court, have the court order the social worker to come to court that you want to see in the court. That you want to be able to examine this social worker because you make a statement that is a true statement that you are not able to effectively talk and cross-examine the social worker unless they're in court. Make that statement and well and. Um, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, Judge Edwards. Oh, go I'm allowed ahead. to have a trial, and I'm allowed to cross the worker. But then the the judges shrug off testimony from workers. Did you contact the agency to see if the services were appropriate as is required by your policy manual? No. Why didn't you? I didn't know I was supposed to. That testimony is regularly introduced in Los Angeles and bench officers regularly say reasonable services. And I regularly send them up on appeal. And it's very frustrating because- That's, that's not enough. That's not enough. First of all, don't restrict it to trial. The social worker needs to be asked questions at the initial hearing. That's the most important hearing. And, I, and you can go ahead and say it in court. Your Honor, 
This is the most important hearing. If you take a look at all the resources, the resource guidelines out of the National Council, they all say the same thing. The initial hearing is the most important hearing, and it is because we need to find out what the social worker knows, what the, yes, and I want the social worker here. And I'm they, willing they to continue don't come this to court in Los Angeles, Judge Edwards. And judge, just a minute, just a minute. Judge, will you please order the social worker to be present tomorrow, 24 hours from now? Because I'm not getting what I need, what the court needs. I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions to help you, Judge, make a fair determination. Now, you can't do it in every case because some cases are slam dunks against you. But some cases are. Did you hear all the stuff I was saying about did the social worker do X, Y, and Z? In order yes, to your honor. removal, I, when I practiced in another county and the social workers came to the arraignment hearing, we would have those conversations in Sacramento County. When I came to Los Angeles County in 2007, social workers were not coming to court then. And a, uh, if you'll pardon the phrase, an old timer explained to me that 15 years before county council started stopping them from coming to court. County Council started telling them, you are our clients, don't talk to parents council. It's a very big problem in Los Angeles. If I told the judge I needed the social worker here the next day, she would be calling Dennis up that same day. What is That's Ed fine. doing? That's fine. That's but fine. I, I don't want you to take this laying down. It doesn't sound to me as though this has been appropriately challenged. And Judge Edwards, if if I may, I should, probably I, I, let you, I should probably let you move on to somebody else's other concerns. All right, fine. I, but thank you for that because now now I won't sleep tonight thinking about the practice in LA. But who who else would like to ask a question? I couldn't believe that the and none of the bench officers were noting these differences to you in your training a couple of weeks ago. Well, they did. They just listened. Um, yeah. You guys are you guys are uh, giving me some feedback. That's good. Is there another question, by the way? Yeah, Judge Edwards, can you hear me any better now? Can I what? Can you uh, apparently not? Can you hear me better now? I can hear you now. Okay, so just to build off a little bit of um, uh, Ed, <laughs> Edge's question, uh, social workers do not commonly come unless they're ordered to for cross examination to trials. But it sounds like if there is an issue in a detention report where there's a question about reasonable efforts, requesting a, a continuance for the social worker to be present or setting it for a contest for the social worker to testify is probably the mechanism we should be using here in LA County. Would you agree? That's fine. That's fine, but, but the way I've talked today, that means you're going to set every detention hearing for uh, a reasonable efforts uh, or many, many. It's going to become a burden and and it should be. Because the reasonable efforts issue should be talked about at the 1st hearing. <clears throat> and and if you have, by the way, do you have interim reviews? If so, that's, that's the next question. Right. Um, some judges do not like to have those interim reviews. Well, I understand they don't, but you as an attorney can say, Your Honor, um, I'm I'm now filing a motion because this is because you've you've uh, heard what your client has been saying about problems. I'm asking for a 45 day review and I want the social worker present because we're going to talk about reasonable efforts. Just file a motion, let everybody know this is what you want. And it seems to me that that notice is letting them know that the social workers testimony in court is what you want. And frankly, I, you've got to get a judge to support you on that. And when you do get a judge to support you, make a record of it and start passing the word around. Judge X has, has a hearing in the 45 day hearing on reasonable efforts and the social worker was, was ordered to come to court. Um, I, I'm just trying to, 
you know, I'm, I'm just trying to problem solve for you. I haven't got a fast answer for you. What, I, what I'm trying to do is, is, is show some aggressiveness that the social worker, <clears throat> after all, this is the executive branch and our job is to, to, to monitor the actions of the, of the, um, uh, of the social worker. No, no. Uh, somebody said, well, what statute says you can do that? The judge is the statute. The judge says, I want to have a review. I, this is a best practice. Most judges I know around the state say, if there are any problems at all, I want an interim review. If you have an infant and the next hearing is six months, I mean, that's outrageous. Those parents are going to lose that child. Because right. under the statute, they can terminate services at six months. Yes, and, and in the chat, um, uh, judge, somebody I, just said you can file a 388. That's fine, but I don't think I think that's an extra burden on the attorney. I think you just ask the judge, judge, listen, look, this is really a complex, serious case. I want to review in 45 days. Or if you don't get it at the initial hearing, the, the detention hearing, get some facts together over the first uh, 30 days and file it then saying things aren't working out. I want the social worker in court. This is a reasonable efforts issue, uh, blah, blah, blah. I mean, be imaginative, try a bunch of different things. You, you may not hit it in the first one, but, but everybody in the system should know that parent attorneys are not happy with the current situation. They are not getting the facts in cases and uh, about what's happening. And the judges should be able to get a hearing in which these facts are developed effectively and that can only be with all the parties present yeah i think one perhaps what you're one way to fulfill some of the what you're suggesting is um without having the extra burden of a 388 but using that walk on contacting all council contacting county council to solve it outside and if it cannot be solved walk it on explain the issue and hopefully it will the judge will hear what we're saying because I, I believe maybe I'm uh, been misled, but they want these parents to get the services. And if they're not getting the services. All right. That's what the director told me when I said, we're gonna have interim reviews. And so what I did, I developed one page summaries of progress in the case. And nobody had to come to court in 90% of the cases because everything was taking place. And the parents didn't even have to come into court. We just settled, they settled it. The attorneys were satisfied. And so it was an interim review only to see if things were working. But on some cases, you have to get into court. So you're picking the ones that should be there and you're doing so based on information that you have learned since the beginning of the case. But if you wait till six months, it's too late. Yeah. You know, anyway, this has been very pleasant. Uh, I want do want to say to Chris, to hello to Kristen Fahrenholtz, who I whose career I've followed for uh, decades. Uh, her father is a close friend of mine, and um, there are others there that I know. And you guys do a great job. Um, I just want to just help you out by. I hope I can give you some tools so that you can be more effective when you appear in court. And you need to change a couple of things that are going on now. And I'm going to talk to the presiding judge about this directly, um, separately, uh, because this is not right. And um, <clears throat> I have my sources down there, and I'll see if I can can help in the back room. Anyway, I'm going to uh, head off now. I uh, I'm glad I worked with Gibran. You, you you really helped me through this. It's always nice.